with the breath. Inhale and exhale. Just getting settled in. So we're gonna generate as much warmth as we can today. Shoulders back and down, spine nice and long, feet grounded, allowing the breath to deepen. And beginning to look for your own inner warmth right in the area of your navel. Starting to notice a light emanating from there, breathing into that space. As you exhale, belly button to spine. As you inhale, the light brightens. And as you exhale, it softens. Now noticing that that light has some warmth to it and starting to let that warmth spread all through your body. Each inhale, the light gets brighter, the warmth goes deeper. Exhale, everything just softens. And now let's add the arms to the inhale. So inhale, draw the arms all the way up. Exhale, turn your palms out, arms down. And just a few more times like that, inhaling up and releasing. And then the next time your hands are back by your side, just leave them there. Take your breath back to normal and just release. Let your knees and hips and start to move, the arms move. So we're getting the knees, hips, shoulders, all the joints, just softening up. All right, and let's go ahead and move the spine side to side now. So with your left hand to your leg, feet are uh, slightly wide apart. Nice wide stance here. Right arm up and we're just going to tilt over to the left and switch to the right. Oh, just thinking release over. Oh, extend and release. And the next time you're over to the left, hold here, hold here, inhale, and as you exhale, let your left hand just slide gently down the leg as you release more. And then bring it up and over to the right, holding here, inhale, and as you exhale, that right hand is just gently sliding down the leg the left rib cage opens a little more and bring it up. Now with soft knees and soft hips, just fold forward and up. We're just going to do a few forward folds here with the legs a nice comfortable distance apart. Down and up. Really let your head hang. And bring your arms back to your side here. Inhale and exhale. And right, we're going to take the feet hip width distance apart. And we're going to do extended cats and cows. So draw your arms forward like you're hugging a beach ball. Set your hips back. And then as you inhale, draw your hips forward, elbows back, and look up. So it's a really deep rounding forward for the cat. 
and a really deep opening up for the cow. There it is, just keep going. Just let everything release here. All right, next time you're forward, just hold here. Turn your toes forward and then just let your body drop. Inhale and exhale. And not holding on to anything, just let your arms sway from side to side, hips sway. Nod your head yes and no. Just looking for as much release as you can find here. Coming back to center, hands to the hips. Come halfway up and then float your upper body the rest of the way up. Inhale and exhale. All right, we're going to do some twisting now from a forward fold. So take your feet hip width distance apart. Float the arms up, really strong, reach forward, folding at the hip creases, really strong, strong, strong. Let your hands come down till they touch your legs. Doesn't matter where, they're just touching your legs. Right hand to the outside of your left leg and your left arm floats up, there's your twist. And then left hand outside of the right leg, right arm floats up. There's your twist. And release. Now take your hands out to the side. You're forward folded, but your arms are long here. And think about being super strong from the waist down, super light from the waist up, and come halfway up. Just float halfway up. Now bring your arms forward by your ears and continue to float all the way up. Inhale, inhale, and release. We're gonna take the legs wider now and do that twisting from the forward fold in a wide-legged position, okay? Let's start with the arms out here. Fold forward from the hip creases and take your right hand, leave your uh, left arm extended, take your right hand toward your left foot. And then come back center and take your left hand toward your right foot. And come back center and switch. And come back center and switch. Now come back center, your arms are long, out to the side. Then the arms come by the ears and super light from the waist up. You just float up, float up, float up. There it is, arms down. Inhale and exhale. We're either gonna step or hop the feet together. Remember, when you hop, soft knees, okay? Or just step together. Now come to the back of your mat. Inhale and exhale. All right. So we're going to keep ourselves busy, strong, nice and warm, right? Mountain pose here. Finding that breath, that light, that heat that you worked on at the beginning, very beginning of class. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, swan dive. Hands touch the mat as you walk forward to a plank. Okay? All right, here we go. Knees up or down, nice strong plank here. And take it back to a downward facing dog. Come forward again to plank. Downward facing dog. Forward to plank. Down dog. And walk your hands back toward your feet. Take a half lift. Forward fold and float the arms out and up, palms touch and hands come heart center. All right, everybody okay with that? We're going to be going three-legged down dog this time, okay? So remember, these are all options. Sweep the arms up, inhale, swan dive. Your hands touch the mat. The knees might bend, the hips might bend, doesn't matter. 
Hands touch the mat. You come forward, plank. Even if your knees are down, that's fine. We come up to the down dog and take the right leg up. Three-legged downward facing dog, just hold here. Bring the right foot down, take the left leg up. Three-legged downward facing dog. Take the left foot down and walk up. Hands back to the feet. Float the arms out and up, palms touch. And hands come heart center. Okay, remember that plank, uh, down dog to plank we did? We're gonna do it one more time. Your option is to do it with the leg up or not, okay? All right, so it'll all make sense in a moment. Sweep the arms up, inhale. Exhale, swan dive. Walk forward to your plank. Down dog, right leg up. Plank, right leg can stay up or not. Back to a three-legged dog. Right foot down, left leg up. Plank, left foot is still up. Three-legged dog, left foot down. Walking the hands back. And floating the arms out and up, palms touch. And hands come heart center. And release. All right, did that feel lots of strengthening, lots of warming? Yes, thumbs up, or just say something? All right, here we go. Inhale and exhale. We're gonna work our way back to the plank. Exhale, forward fold, and forward to your plank here. Just hold here. Now bring the knees down. Sit off to the side and take your legs forward. Ah, now we get to sit after all that hard work. We get a little break sitting here. Inhale and exhale. Ah, take a nice long spine here. And we're going to take the right foot to the left thigh for a nice Janu Sarsasana. Right foot to the left thigh. Turn and face towards your left leg. Inhale the arms up and fold forward. Reach, reach, reach. Take a couple of breaths here. And release everything. Bring your arms up and again, same thing, same side. Fold forward, reach again. Taking a couple of breaths. And release one more time. Arms up, reach, reach, reach. Fold forward and hold. This time, take your gaze towards your toes if it's not already there. Extending the spine. And bring it up, hands down. Help your right knee up. And your right foot is either going to be a hands with distance away from the left thigh, or it could potentially come over to the outside of your left leg. Okay, whichever position you take, your hips stay grounded. Okay, so it's not this. Hips are down. All right, so wherever you are, take your left hand to your right knee, right arm up and back. Nice long spine as you inhale, and then without tugging on that knee, twisting at the waist as you exhale, turning your gaze toward your right shoulder as you inhale to lengthen the spine, exhale to deepen your twist. Keep your legs where they are and just untwist now. Come back to center. So untwisting, looking forward. Inhale and exhale. All right, we're gonna go back into that twist. Left hand to the right knee, right arm back. Spine is long, inhale. Exhale as you twist. Now if you wanna see about going a little deeper into the twist, 
Maybe your left elbow comes outside the right knee. And then as you turn your gaze towards your right shoulder, keeping the spine long, inhaling to lengthen, exhaling to deepen your twist. Hold your twist as you turn your gaze towards your left shoulder. And then back to the right. And then starting to release your twist, bring everything back to center. If your foot is over, bring it back to the inside of the left leg. Take your right leg straight and give your legs a crazy shake. Okay, ready to do that on the other side. We've got left foot to the right thigh, facing over the right leg. Inhale the arms up, exhale forward. Take a couple of breaths here. Inhale the arms up. Exhale the arms forward. Releasing, inhale the arms up. Preparing to stay longer this time. Reach, reach, reach as you exhale. Let your hands come down. Let your gaze be toward your toes as your right foot flexes. Inhale and exhale. So every inhale is for seeking length. Every exhale is for moving into any space that's created for you by your breath. And release spine, long arms, long arms overhead. Exhale, hands down. Help your left knee up. Decide if your foot's going to be inside your leg or outside. The hips are grounded. Sit up nice and tall. Right hand to the left knee. Left hand comes back. Once again, inhaling, lengthen the spine. Exhaling, deepens your twist. The twist is coming from the waist, not from tugging on the knee. Turn your gaze toward your left shoulder. Nice. Keep the spine nice and long. Beautiful. And slowly exhaling twist. Come forward for a second. So release your twist. Sit up nice and tall. We're going back into that twist. Spine long twist, possibly elbow to the outside of the left knee this time, if that works for you. If not, you keep your hand to your knee. Inhaling, lengthen the spine, exhaling, deepen your twist, turning your gaze toward your left shoulder. And keeping the body where it is, just turn your gaze toward your right shoulder. Back over to the left. And then releasing everything back to the middle. Take your left leg, straighten it, and give your legs a crazy shake. All right, so ringing out, ringing out, building heat, right? Increasing our flexibility. Oh, now, the real center of our heat is our core, right? So we're going to do some core work. Yay, I know. All right. So, <laughs> all right. So some strong bodies here today, I know. So we're going to take the arms forward and slowly, slowly, slowly roll down, roll down. All right, let's sit on the hands and take the legs straight up. Sitting on your hands, your legs are straight up. So you're, when your legs are long and straight, this puts a, a lot of um, work into the core, but we don't want to hurt the back. So if your back starts to bother you, you're going to bend your knees. Ready? Inhale. Point your toes. We're taking the legs down slowly. So hold. Down a little more. Hold. Down a little more. Hold. Down so your heels are just barely off the mat. 
and sweep your legs up. So by sweep, I mean controlling them up, not flinging them up, control them up. Let's do that again, toes point, down and hold. Down a little more and hold. Down a little more and hold. Heels just off the mat and control, control, bring the legs up. All right, here's another option. Roll your shoulders and head up, draw your hands forward, toes are pointing, legs come down and hold, legs come down and hold, come down a little more and hold, heels barely off the mat and hold, and carefully bring your legs back up. Ooh, let's take a little break. How'd that go? Everybody okay with that? Yes. Oh, sounds like. So let's do it again, shall we? Sure we shall. All right, legs up, toes point. Option, roll the shoulders and head up. Okay, take the legs down and hold. A little more and hold. A little more and hold. Heels off the mat, close to the mat, and hold. All right, I bet some of you want to try this. Take your arms along overhead and then draw everything in and bring your knees in, rock from side to side. Whew. Inhale and exhale. All right, let's bring the feet down. How are those cords doing? Yay? Can I get a thumbs up or what here? All right. <laughs> Yeah, let me know, okay? All right, we're gonna reverse it now. Yay, I know you were waiting for that. Okay, so we're gonna start with the legs up, okay? You can sit on your hands if you want, if you found that helpful. And we're gonna just let the legs slowly but smoothly come all the way down. Heels are still up. And then we're going to lift a bit, hold, lift a bit, hold, lift a bit, hold, and lift a bit, hold. Ready? Legs smoothly come down. Lift a little, hold, lift a little, hold, lift a little, hold, lift and hold. All right, ready for the option here. Roll the shoulders and head up. Arms are forward, legs come smoothly down, lift a little, hold, lift a little, hold, lift and hold all the way up, and take it down. Let your shoulders and head rest for a second. We're going to do that one more time. Roll the shoulders and head up, arms are forward, legs come smoothly down, right? And while we're here, maybe take the arms overhead. Oh, there you go. Arms back by your side. Lift a little, hold. Lift a little, hold. Lift a little more. And legs straight up. Ooh, shoulders and head down. And release. <sighs> Is anybody feeling your core yet? Yeah, somebody should say something or we're going to be here for a long time. Yes? All right. Okay. <laughs> there you go. All right. Inhale and exhale. That was intense because the legs were long, right? Okay. So let's take a couple of breaths here and figure out something to do with the obliques. Legs straight up. Arms straight up. Palms touch. Okay. And we're going to roll the shoulders and head up, 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 and take the hands to the outside of the right leg. Hold here. Come back center and slowly shoulders down, down, down. It's that slow. Okay, we're going up, up, up. Hands to the outside of the left leg. Hold here. Hands back center and slowly down, down, down. 
All right, we're going back up to the right, up, up, hands to the right. Now the left leg is going to come down and up, down and up, down and up. One more, down and up. Center and slowly down, down, down. Woof. One more up, up, up. We're going to the left. Right leg down and up. Take it down and up and down and up. One more down and up. Come center, not collapsing. Slowly down, down, down. Woof. Bring the knees in. And rock from side to side. All right, congratulate yourselves. You just did a great, great job. A lot of core work there. Inhale and exhale. All right, we're going to rock up to seated. So just take your arms out to the side. Your, when you come up to seated, your feet are not going to hit the mat, right? So we're just going to rock, 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 and up. Whoa. Here we go. Oh, yeah, let's wait. Okay, let's do that one more time. Rock, 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 and up. Woo! And then release. Ah, do whatever feels good here. Let everything go. And then come to hands and knees. Woof. All right. So I hope everybody's nice and warm. Are you guys nice and warm now? Remember that. Okay, remember that when you're out shoveling snow tomorrow. Let's come to hands and knees. Inhale and exhale. And we're going to do some nice rainbows. Okay, so we'll think about rainbows here. Take your right foot back, tuck the toes, press through the heel and roll over the foot. Press through the heel, roll over the foot. So we're getting a little calf stretch and foot massage. Now take your right leg out to the right and bring the leg up and over to the left, up and over to the right. So just keep going. Make some nice rainbows. And the next time your leg is over to the left, hold here, keep your foot there and start to look past your left shoulder. See if you can spot your right foot back there. Come center, bring the leg up and knee down. Take a break anytime your knees or wrists need one. We're moving on. Left foot comes back. We're pressing through the heel for a calf stretch, rolling over the foot to massage it. Heel, roll. Holding that heel back for a moment. Now taking the left foot out to the left and making those big rainbows with the left leg. To the right, to the left. Now the next time your left foot is over to the right, hold it there. Look past your right shoulder for that foot. Come back to center, bring the knees down, walk the hands forward, setting the hips back, and just come forward a bit, back and forward, just preparing for a nice child's pose here. Big toes together, knees wide apart, coming to your child's pose. Arms could be forward, sometimes the shoulders want the arms to be back, the head always wants to be supported. So have your forehead resting either on the mat or your hands. And then coming up to hands and knees, tuck the toes, down dog, inhale and exhale. We're gonna bend one knee and then the other, let the hips move. So get some movement going in this dog. Remember, dogs can always be tables. And then we're going to just take a nice walk, feet to the hands. 
hands to the thighs as you half lift, forward fold, and float the arms out and up, palms touch, and hands come heart center, and release. All right, let's come to the top of the mat. Find the breath, find that warmth and light. We're moving into sun salutations now. All right, sweep the arms up, inhale. As you exhale, right arm back, left arm forward. Twisting. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, center. Elbows to waist as you look up. Inhale, center. Swan dive. Fold forward here. Hands to the knees, hips press back, look up. Hands down, and we're going to step the right leg back, bring the knee down, left knee over left ankle, float the hands up, the core is supporting, and come into a nice crescent lunge here. Inhale, look up. Exhale, hands down, tuck the toes. If you're coming into a knee down plank, just bring your left leg back. If you're coming into a knee up plank, lift your back knee and bring your left leg to meet your right. So either plank is great. The important part is your spine is not sagging like this. Your hips are not up like this. Your spine is straight, knees up or down. And then bending at the elbows, chaturanga down to the mat. Oh. Use those arms. Should we save our arms for tomorrow in case there's eight inches of snow? Bring the hands under the shoulders. We're going to do a little cobra here. Shoulders toward the ears, down the spine. Look up. Now you should be able to lift your hands because we're not pressing into them. And then release. So the energy from the cobra, let's do that again. Shoulders toward the ears, down the spine. The core and the shoulders are doing the work here, not the hands, and release. Whew. Take it back and up to down dog. Okay, you can go table to down dog. You can press straight up and back to down dog. Inhale and exhale. Now, your right leg comes up, right foot steps forward, left knee is down. We're coming into that same crescent lunge. This time the left knee is down, right? You can give it extra padding if it needs it. Left knee behind the hip, right knee over the ankle. Core is engaged, arms up, crescent lunge. One hand on either side of the right foot as you come down, tuck your back toes, lift your back knee. All right, we're engaging everything here. We don't really need the hands, right? The hands can just float free here. Now bring them back down. Keeping all that in mind, just step your back foot up to meet your front. Half lift, forward fold, and float the arms out and up, palms touch. And hands come heart center. Making sense here? Okay, we're gonna do crescent lunge, option to lift the knee. I'll, I'll take you through the knee lift option when we get there, right? Okay, let's sweep the arms up, inhale. As you exhale, twist, arms extended. Inhale, center, exhale, twist to the other side, arms extended. Inhale, center, elbows to waist as you look up, open your heart, inhale, center. Exhale, swan dive. Let's just enjoy this forward fold for a moment here. The legs are pretty warm, so with the knees straight, the hands could either be touching the mat or touching your legs. Just enjoy that forward fold for a moment. Ah, take a breath. Now bring the hands to the thighs, hips back for the half lift, looking up. 
hands down, exhale. We're going to take the left leg back, knee down, and come into a crescent lunge. Taking the hands to heart center, inhale, lengthen your spine, and as you exhale, bring your um, left elbow to your right knee. Okay. Look at your right foot, fix your gaze, and then tuck your back toes and carefully start to lift that back knee. Knee lift option here. You can always just come back down if this doesn't feel stable to you. Untwist one hand on either side of your right foot. Coming plank, knee up or down plank. Chaturanga, elbows bend. Take it down. All right. And we're going to do that cobra again, not relying on the hands. Lift up. And release. One more time. Cobra, look up. And release. Finding your way to downward facing dog. Inhale and exhale. This time the uh, left leg comes up, left foot steps forward, right knee comes down. We're setting ourselves up for crescent again. Arms up, inhale, hands heart center. Inhaling to lengthen the spine, exhaling, bring the right elbow to the left knee. So you're in a crescent lunge here with a twist. And if you want, Balance challenge, look at your left foot first, fix your gaze, tuck your back toes, and perhaps lift that back knee. Now untwist, bring your hands back down, one hand on either side of your left foot, big step forward, half lift, forward fold and float the arms out and up, palms touch, and hands come heart center, and release. Whew, did you feel the balance challenge there with the knee lifting? Yeah, okay, so we're gonna work our balance a little more now, okay? So let's take the feet hip width distance apart, Inhale and exhale, shoulders back and down. So remember the three important parts for balance. Firm foundation, we want the feet big. Lift the toes, spread them out, put them back down. The feet stay nice and big, all right? Second thing we need is a calm mind, all right? We're taking out any ideas of, oh, balance, uh, you know, what's gonna happen? So we inhale through the nose, and a nice deep exhale through the mouth, <sighs> just calming the mind. And now just find a spot to gaze at that isn't moving. So you want to keep your gaze fixed on something that isn't moving. All right. And we're going to do sun and moon. So inhale your hands to your hips and then go ahead and take your right foot to the ball of the foot. Your left leg is strong. Your left foot is still big. Your gaze is fixed and you slowly let that right knee float up. See how that feels today. And then you bring the foot back down, okay? You could always have a chair nearby or just tap a wall for stability. But um, another good thing is just to bring your foot down when you start to feel um, a little off balance. Let's try it on the other side, see how balance is. Left foot to the ball of the foot, and let that knee, left knee float up. Okay. And release. All right, so at any point when your balance is super challenged, this might be your balance, right? With the toe gently on the floor. Okay. Everybody looks okay here. We're going to move on into sun and moon. So hands to hips, right foot to the ball of the foot, right knee up. Then we extend the left arm up. The whole left side is long. The right fingertips point down. Sun and moon. 
and release. Oh, there it is. All right, trying that on the other side. Left foot to the ball of the foot. We're still calm. We're still, our gaze is still focused. And the right side is strong. Left knee up. Right arm. The whole right side is long. Left fingertips point down. And you release. Alright, we're going to do that again. This time, everything goes at once. Right knee, left arm. Float it up. And down. Left knee, right arm. Float it up. And down. All right. So now we're going to do that moving a little bit. So get in a spot where you can take three steps forward and then three steps back. All right. Whew. Inhale and exhale. So we're going to step, 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 knee up, arm up. Take it down, walk backwards. Step, 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 knee up, arm up. Step, 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 sun and moon lift. Backwards, step, 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 sun and moon lift. And keep going. Step, 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 and lift. Don't worry so much which side the arm goes up. What we're working on here is moving into balance, right? We want to be able to catch ourselves catch ourselves and balance. Yep, smooth it out. So if you were going step, 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 stop and lift, go step, 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 lift, step, 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 lift, no pause. Catching yourself, just like life. You might be walking down the street and a turtle is crossing in front of you and you don't want to step on it, so whew, you have to balance right away. There it is, smooth it out. And then the next time you find yourself with your knee lifted, hold, hold, hold. Practice holding. And then step back one more time. Up and hold, hold, hold. Ah, oh, and release, shake it out. All right, did that make sense why we're doing this? Okay, we want to be able to um, move and balance, move and balance, okay? Life doesn't always stop so that we can find our balance. Sometimes we just wind up having to balance. All right, let's go through a nice warrior flow. Take your legs wide, okay? <laughs> Somebody's head just popped in. All right, we're taking the right toes forward and the left toes in at an angle, and we're setting up for warrior two with the right knee bending, Shoulders over hips, the left foot's in at an angle, and the outer edge of the left leg is pressing into the mat. Arms are out. Good. Arms look good. You always want to make sure your, especially your back arm, is in line with your shoulders. Gaze past your front fingertips. Inhale and exhale. Warrior two. Let's just move this a little bit. Turn your palms up. Inhale the arms overhead, straighten your front leg, and descend back into warrior two. We're just going to move in and out of warrior two a few times. Up and down. Up and down. This time up. We take it down and hold. Now we're going to let the left hand come gently to the left leg, right palm up, and take this to a reverse warrior and come forward, bend the right elbow, and take this to a side angle. You're not pressing onto your thigh here. Your arm is not helping you, your core is supporting. We're going warrior two, reverse, warrior two, side angle. That's all it is, so just go through it, do something that feels good to you. 
Take it at your own pace. And we'll all meet back in warrior two now. Okay. Now coming into the reverse all together, we're going to hold here. So inhale, as you exhale, soften a bit, and then move a little deeper into your reverse. This backhand is not doing anything. It's all core. If you feel balanced, take your gaze toward your right fingertips. And then come back to warrior two. Bending at the elbow, coming into your side angle here. The arm could stay up or it could come over the ear, whatever works best for you. And then release your right arm so you're in a core side angle here. And then lift up and back to warrior two. Bring your hands to your hips, straighten your legs, and take your left foot forward, right leg, right toes in. So your right foot's at an angle, okay? Your left knee bends. We're going to set it up nice and strong here. Left knee over the left ankle. Right foot is at an angle. The outside edge of the right foot is strongly in, connect, in contact with the floor here. Arms out to the side, warrior two. Gaze calmly past your left fingertips, warrior two. We'll move it a few times, palms up, inhale up. Exhale back to warrior two. Inhale up. Exhale back to warrior two. Inhale up. Exhale back to warrior two. One more time. Inhale up. Exhale warrior two and hold. And now we're going to go through the sequence. So your right hand comes gently to the leg. Left palm up. Reverse warrior. Back to warrior two. Left elbow bends, side angle, arm up or overhead. And back to warrior two. Reverse. Warrior two, side angle. Warrior two, and now you continue. Taking your time, moving with your breath. We'll all meet back in warrior two now. Coming into the reverse and holding here. Releasing a little and then deepening. And then coming back to warrior two, coming into the side angle, and then releasing the left arm. So we're in a core side angle. The shoulders are still stacked. Oh, and lift up. Blah. Inhale, hands to the hips. Turn your toes forward. Inhale, we're going to fold forward from those hip creases. Just fold, fold, fold. Let the hands slide down the legs. Maybe they touch the mat. Maybe they stay on the legs. Just be comfortable. Let your head hang. Let your spine release. And wiggle around a little bit. Maybe bend the knees. Do what feels good to you here. Mm, let your head nod yes and no. Release the neck a bit. Bring your hands to your hips, come halfway up, 
come the rest of the way up. And you're either gonna heel toe your feet together. If you like to hop, remember you're always landing softly. Yep, top of the mat. Inhale and exhale. Whew, sweep the arms up, inhale. Swan dive, forward fold, we're coming down. Hands to the thighs, hips back, look up. Exhale, hands down, find your way to down dog. Okay. So this down dog now is more for relaxation. If it would feel better to be in table, do that. Wiggle around a little bit in your down dog or your table. And then everybody knees down, sit off to the side. Come forward, we transition from up to down in our seated mountain pose. Nice and strong here, the muscles are engaged, the feet are flexed, shoulders back and down. And then whew, release, let everything just soften up. We're gonna have the hips halfway on the mat, working our way down. Bend the knees, bring the feet hip width distance apart. You can hold on to the back of your thighs here and just roll down, roll down. Oh, roll it down. When you get all the way down, extend the arms, extend the legs, take a nice deep breath. Inhale, exhale, draw your knees in and rock a little from side to side, releasing the spine. All right, we're gonna hold the right knee in, bring the left foot down, and then maybe see if that left leg wants to extend any amount. Just a little more stretching as we go here. Bring the left knee in, hold the, hold the left knee in, bring the right foot down, and then extend your right leg, whatever amount it's willing to go today. and bring your knee back in, rock a little more from side to side, bring your hands down by your side, take your legs straight up. We're gonna work the, work the ankles a bit, point and flex. So really point, really flex, and then circle one direction and the other. Whew. All right, bend your knees, bring your feet back down. Let's get the hands going here. Make a gentle fist and extend the fingers. Oh, extend, give those hands a break here. And then go ahead and roll the wrists. One direction and the other. Hands down by your side, let your head gently roll from side to side, releasing the neck. We're going to enliven all the muscles of the face, so take a nice deep inhale, inhale. Close your eyes really tight, and as you exhale, stick your tongue out, open your eyes wide. And release. So we're going to scrunch up the face. Inhale. Open the mouth. Open the eyes wide. Stick the tongue out. And really feel that face. Oh, all the blood flow to the face. Nice. Inhale and exhale. Scan your body. See if anything is asking to move or wiggle. As you find a nice, comfortable position, something you can hold for several minutes as we move into settling onto the earth and then into final relaxation. So sometimes the legs are straight. For some people, that's comfortable. For others, sometimes the knees are bent. Whatever works for you, find something nice and comfortable. And then inhale through the nose. 
and exhale smoothly through the mouth. Inhale through the nose. Exhaling through the mouth as you just melt onto the earth. One more time, inhaling through the nose. Exhaling as you let the earth support you and you move into your final relaxation. So slowly begin to bring your awareness back to your space. Allow your breath to deepen. Invite movement back, wiggle fingers and toes. And as you're ready, take a nice deep inhale, stretching the arms long overhead. Exhaling, draw the knees in. Give yourself a nice hug. And then find your way over to a side. Coming back up to a nice, easy seat. As you turn your gaze to your own good heart and your bright spirit, Thank and honor yourself for your practice, and we thank and honor each other for sharing this time. Namaste.